Hi, and welcome to Chateau. So, you bought a Chateau box. What next? Well, pour yourself a drink, get the tunes on, and I'll show you the step-by-step -step guide, nice and easy, the way to cook the Chateau box. So, let's get started. Let's get the beef out of the fridge, bring it to room temperature. It's quite important to grab an oven tray and a little bit of kitchen roll, just so any, any excess liquids come off, okay? I have my pan on here at a medium high heat. I'm going to leave my Café de Paris butter to the side for when we finish it. There's a tiny bit of oil in my pan. Take the cling film off. So that trico is something that I haven't worked with a lot, but it makes it really, really interesting. Okay? Pans on to a medium high heat. If you work from between one and five, then we'll say four, okay? On the, on the hot side. We want to place the beef into the pan and you want to hear that sizzle. That's it. What that sizzle is doing is it's caramelizing the outside. The outside of the beef, you're getting the, the beefy flavors, the Maillard reactions, and the caramelizing of the treacle that's been, that's, that it's been cured in, okay? So while that's caramelizing, I'm gonna just move it around. Because the steak has an awkward shape, it's easiest just to prop it up to the side of the pan, just like that, so you can get an even coating on every side. While we're doing that, we're going to move on to the beef fat potatoes. Okay, so you remove your packaging, your little dressing, keep that to the side, or even, better still, place that in a little bowl. Just going to quickly do that right now. Keep that in a bowl to the sides, and we'll use that later. Keep the beef moving on all sides. You see that colour there? That's the colour you want. Fantastic caramelised. On anything else that looks too dark, but because we've soaked it in treacle, and treacle is an unrefined sugar, that's what we want. That's the nice colours. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, you have your, your Hasselback potatoes that have already been cooked in the beef. We're going to place them onto an oven tray and just whack them in the oven. Okay. Little Hasselback potatoes, already cooked, nothing else done to them, straight on a tray and into the oven. The oven's set at 180 degrees. Move on now to your celeriac, and it's already dressed. The black garlic. But black garlic is a product that we use a lot. It's the whole garlic clove in its shell, and it's been cooked at 60 degrees for four weeks. So it's a long, slow cooking process. Let's get them in the oven. Very, very simply, just take out the celeriac. Look at the colours, look at the colours, look at the deep, dark colours, and you can smell the truffle as well. A little taste. You just simply place that in the oven alongside the potatoes and focus on our beef again. So now that the beef is caramelised on all sides, we're going to put it beside its friends in the oven, okay? We're going to focus on the dessert and we are very close to, to finishing up, okay? No stress, you've got your wine, you've got your tunes on, no problems, okay? The dessert in this one, staying on the treacle theme, it's a treacle steamed pudding. We're going to serve that with a lovely, deep, dark, rich ginger anglaise. An anglaise is essentially just a custard, um, cooked out eggs and, until the, the, the milk thickens. And we're going to serve that with a lovely citrus puree. The citrus puree is just a, a, a baked whole orange and a baked whole lemon. And we just whiz that up with a little bit of sugar and some very, very good olive oil. And it, it imparts a lovely citrus note to the dish. So we crack open the packet. These, these can go straight into the oven, okay? Now, the steamed puddings, they go into the oven as well. Now, you can't put them in a steamer, there's no need. You have an oven on, just use the heat that you've already got. As I said, we've taken out all of the stress and fire these bad boys right into the oven. Now, we're about maybe five minutes away from, from serving, but in a good place. You have your dressing ready, you have your butter ready for the last minute 
alter, uh, the last minute basting and we're going to take the two sauces for the dessert and place them into a wee separate bowl just so it's a lot easier to work with. In a little bowl, these little bags, the easiest way to work with them is take the back of a knife, the, the side that doesn't have a blade, place it onto the bag and push it down. Can you see? That way you put all of the puree to the bottom of the bag and then run your knife across, opening the bag, nice and easy, no extra mess. And we're going to put that into a little bowl. So it's a lot easier to work with. You don't have to do this. It's a lot easier to work with. Now we have our, we have our herb dressing for the, the potatoes. We have our citrus puree. We have our butter for basting and for the ginger scented anglaise, I'm going to put straight into the bowl that we're going to serve it in. Again, press back with the back of your knife, cut the edge off and we're going to pour that straight into our serving bowl. Saving up on any extra washing up that we don't need to do. Straight in there, okay? We have enough for two in there. I'll be serving one right now, no issues. The beef has been in the oven for about seven minutes now. I'm going to take it out and let it rest, okay? Here it comes. The potatoes and the celeriac are still in there. You can serve them straight away. They don't need to rest, but the beef, it's a muscle. You've cooked it, it's all tense. Let it relax, okay? Just like we all need to relax. The beef has been in the oven. We're happy with it. And we're going to drop in the Cafe de Paris butter. Now, this is called a butter compound. And a butter compound is just a lot of, a lot of different ingredients into the butter. Look at the color, it's dark, it's rich. You can see, you, can, you know how it's going to taste already. You drop in the, the butter, you let that melt. The butter is going to act as a sauce, okay? Once it's melted, take it straight off the heat. Spoon the butter over the beef. Spoon it over. Look at that, I mean, look at that, look. How is that not going to taste nice? Spoon the butter over the beef, and we need to let that rest. I'm happy for you to leave it to rest in the pan, or alter alternatively, you can leave it in a little plate. I don't like to do washing up, so I'm just going to leave it in the pan. Baste it a little bit more, and just as so, okay? Take that to the side. When we rest beef, it can be, so our beef only needs a bit rested for maybe seven to 10 minutes. Celeriac's a gnarly vegetable. It's not the best looking, but it tastes fantastic, and you get a lot from it, look. Look at that, how's that not gonna taste nice? Take your bowl, you simply spoon it on. Spoon it on, pile it high. Everyone's want, gonna want a little morsel of this. And if you tell everyone that this is a root vegetable dressed in black truffle and black garlic, <laughs> you'll seem a lot more knowledgeable than I do. Fantastic, there you go, pile that high. And we grab our potatoes and they've started to colour a little bit because of, the, because of the beef dripping on the outside. We're going to pile them high or what you can do, my little tip, is to get the dressing, we're going to spoon it over, place it back into the oven and that cooks the dressing onto it. Okay, so you have your dressing, lovely stuff, packed with herbs, tarragon, dill, chervo, parsley, all manner of good things. And we're going to put that back in the oven only for like one minute. And place that back in the oven. When you add the heat back into that, what it does is it opens up all the, all the dormant flavours, like the herbs and the, and the shallots that are in there, uh, and then we'll dress them. So we, we like to treat our vegetables the way we treat our meat with absolute respect. Here they come. As I said, only takes about 30 seconds. If you do any longer, then what tends to happen is that the, potato, the, the green tends to dull. So there's a real fine point between overcooking and, and warming through. You don't have to do that. If your potatoes are warm enough, then simply spoon on the dressing and the heat from the potatoes will do, will do the same. You start to smell the, 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 the herbs opening up and then you pile them high as well. And because they're hassle-backed potatoes, all the little grooves that we've cut in that our team have cut into the potatoes and slowly cooked are now taking in all of that fantastic, fantastic herb dressing. Leave that to one side. Okay, potatoes are done. Happy. Dressed with the herb and 
shallot dressing. Now our beef is probably ready. We're going to carve it. We're going to serve it with lashings of the butter and then the dessert should be ready straight after that. So our potatoes are served. We're going to take out the dessert from the oven, leave that to sit for one minute. And while we leave that to sit, we're going to carve our beef and we're going to put over the lashings of the cafe, the Paris butter, okay? Straight out of the oven, use an oven cloth or something to prevent yourself from hurting your, your fingers, okay? These are going to be quite hot, so please be careful. Leave that to one side while we deal with the beef, okay? Get yourself a sharp knife. Oh, that's a, lot, that's a big piece of meat, that. And we're going to cut it into about maybe four centimetre slices. And we're looking for six slices, okay? Nice, chunky slices. You can see the colour, the colour difference there, and the butter on the top. So the colour difference, the nice ruby red in the inside, and the butter on the outside and the treacle has charred on the outside as well. All of that is flavour, all of that you'll be able to tell in the eating experience, and everyone will think that you are a master chef. We have taken out all of the hassle, layer it up, all these little tips and tricks, add little layers and make the difference when you go to serve your beef. Now, now we're going to present that on the plate. Okay? Now any of the pan juices that will be rested in there, we just serve that over the top. Lovely. Absolutely delicious. This butter compound is, is really, really pungent, really strong and it complements the beef fantastically. Now we move on to our old favourite. We have the ginger anglaise in the bowl. Now our old favourite, I've not seen this for years, a steamed pudding. So a little hint, you might not have a little chef tool. A little hint to do this, once they've cooled down slightly, what we're going to do is we're going to take a spoon. So they've cooled down, they're warm to the touch but they're not hot. We're going to take our spoon and with the curved edge, we're going to gently loosen it around the outside. Gently loosen it, okay? Then we're going to tip up. I'm going to tip it onto the spoon so you can see, but you can tip up straight into the bowl, okay? You ready? One, two, three, tip up, straight on there. Lovely little steamed pudding, okay? So that one gets dipped and gets popped straight into the ginger custard, okay? Now you've got the ginger anglaise, you've got the steamed pudding. Now to finish it off, we have this luxurious looking citrus puree, and that just gets gently plopped onto the top. And there we go, there's your dinner. Now we have this month's Chateau experience. We have our treacle cured Chateau. We have the Café de Paris butter served alongside some beef fat Hasselbacks, dressed lovingly with our herb and shallot dressing. We have a fantastic uh, way with root veg. We, we have dressed the celeriac and black garlic and black truffle and fantastic little dessert to finish, themed treacle pudding with ginger, anglaise and a citrus puree. Enjoy!